Gagan, working in a multinational company in Gurgaon, made a deal to buy a flat costing 60 lakh rupees nearby. He is buying the flat in a resale transaction. He also paid 10% of the deal value as advance when the agreement was being finalized. But when he applied for loan to pay the remaining amount, he was informed that he won't get a loan as the property was disputed. There is a dispute regarding the division between the brothers on this house. Hence, the property could not be registered. Now, the seller is not giving back the money already paid to him. In fact, Gagan made a deal by just trusting the property dealer. It was the dealer who prepared the sales agreement. This was proved to be too costly for Gagan. Many people commit this mistake while buying the property. They agree to whatever dealer says and also allow the dealer to prepare the agreement. Sometimes, in pursuit of high commission, the dealer takes advantage of the customer's trust and convince them to buy a disputed property. This creates a lot of problem for the buyers in the future. Sometimes, just for agreement, dealers complete the paperwork by just making few adjustments in the previous agreement. Due to this, the terms of some other agreements get added in the deal of the current buyers. This also creates problems for these new buyers. To avoid any problems in the property you buy in the future, it is important that you consult some property lawyer. Only a lawyer can help you in understanding in all the nitty-gritties of property laws and terms and conditions of the agreement. You will have to pay some fee for this, but it will protect you from various problems in the future. When we buy a house, we put in our hard-earned money. If we take home loan, then the EMI comprises huge chunk of our future savings. Hence. For most of the people, this becomes lifetime investment. Property laws are quite complicated and sometimes even experts fail to get all the details. However, if you take a bank loan for properties, then your problems reduce to some extent. Before giving loan, bank does due diligence of the property. Bank ensures that seller has the legal right over the property and there is no loan over the property. They also seek search report on the property. But banks also does the diligence only to extent which is relevant for them. If bank's interest is not aligned with the interest of buyers, then bank won't care much. So, it is important to get a legal advice related to property on a personal level. This can prevent you from future loss and mental stress. Why legal advice is important? Tax and investment expert Balwan Jain said that in case of serious health issues, you also take second opinion on the matter. This is done to prevent yourself from any wrong treatment or potential issues in the future. Same rule applies when you buy a property. You have no idea about the proficiency of lender's lawyer. So it is important to take a legal advice from another lawyer. In its due diligence, bank only focuses on legal aspects related to property and its registry. It is also possible that the bank's lawyers don't possess legal proficiency in matters like this. Money9 suggests, Before buying a property, consult a professional legal advisor on all aspects so that your hard-earned money and the property purchased from it do not create trouble for you in future, even if you have to pay a fee for it.